Hey everyone, hope you are uh, you and your family are healthy and safe during these uncertain times. Uh, so today I'm going to show you a demo uh, how we can post a praise to Yammer. So in Content and Code, we uh, use Yammer praise uh, to basically motivate our uh, colleagues. And I thought it's a good idea to have a web part that we can just uh, post the praise from SharePoint or within Teams. But before I show you the uh, UI, uh, I just want to show you different ways of communicating with Yammer API. So there's already a sample in uh, repo you can find a uh, React Yammer API. So basically, it's, it uses a uh, uh, Yammer JavaScript SDK to communicate with Yammer API. Uh, so for using this uh, this sample, you need to create uh, create an application in uh, with Yammer, and after that, uh, you can get a client ID and client secret, and also the redirect UI URI, and you can keep them in your web part. Uh, and after that, uh, by adding uh, the SDK into the page, here you you can just. Uh, call uh, whatever you want. You can get the status uh, of the current user. And also, uh, if the user is not logged in or signed in, you can uh, use an iframe to basically go through the OS flow to get the uh, get the app authorized. And then you can just communicate with the uh, Yammer API. Uh, but uh, I had some problems with uh, with this approach. App approach and uh, first of all, you need to keep the client ID and the redirect URL somewhere in your web part. And if you want to deploy it to different environments, you have to change and update the uh, client ID and the redirect URI. And uh, second, uh, it's right. I think it's a not good, a good idea to ask the users again to log in to the page uh, because they're already signed into Office 365. And I thought, okay, it might be a better way to do this. And actually, we have uh, we have really easier way to do that. So we can achieve that and get the token with AAD token provider class. So this class allows you to obtain uh, OS2 tokens from Azure AD, and also helps you helps you to authenticate the user from the SharePoint page to other services such as uh, Yammer, uh, Exchange, uh, Power BI, etc. And uh, the only thing you need to do is uh, add, uh, pulling this piece of code to your uh, on it on in its uh, function. Uh, so yeah, with this uh, get token method, you can request an access to a resource, uh, which is Yammer in this example, and it returns the token if the user that's currently logged in has access to that resource. And what once you get the token, you can just easily communicate with Yammer API. But um, to be able to access this resource, you need to go to the app registration. Uh, that basically, you, you have two options. You can have your own uh, app registration, or you can just uh, open the SharePoint online app registration, um, add a permission to Yammer. And there's only one option available now, which is in preview, uh, user impersonation. And after adding that and grant admin consent for that resource, you are able to uh, basically get the token uh, from SharePoint, SharePoint Framework web part. Uh, but before I just um, explain some of this code, uh, let me just do a really uh, quick overview of this uh, UI. So this is the web part. Uh, you can search for people. Uh, add a message. Uh, you can uh, select a group from Yammer and select an icon, and you can see a um, preview preview of that uh, post in Yammer. And after clicking the post, going to send it to Yammer, and by clicking on this link, you can see that post in Yammer. So if we go back to the code, 
So here are uh, the token uh, that we got in the previous uh, uh, from here, basically in on init's function. And for posting the praise, you can just uh, communicate with this endpoint, message.json. And what you need is just a comment, icon, and the user ID. And to get the user ID, you can just uh, call this function. And by passing the email address of that user, you can get the user ID. And uh, here is the method to get the YAML groups, basically. And also, here is the uh, web part code. I try to use um, React hooks in this example, which are, I think, really great because it just make your code really readable and uh, it's all function components, basically. And here is the people picker, uh, which comes from SPFX controls React. You can just install this library, and it's really easy to use these controls. Um, and that's it. I think uh, it's really easy to uh, just use this uh, approach to get the token. It help, helps you a lot. Uh, I'm sure uh, most people here just uh, aware of uh, AAD HTTP client that is really useful to uh, communicate with some of the resources like a graph API. But sometimes it's not easy to uh, you know get access to some of the resources, which Yammer is one of them. And uh, I think this is the class uh, that you can use to get access to Yammer, Exchange, Power BI, or some of the resources that is uh, not uh, easy to have them with the AD HTTP client. And also uh, for basically adding this to, or installing this to uh, into Microsoft Teams, you can just easily uh, open the manifest file at uh, your hosted, uh, supported hosted like Teams tab and Teams personal app. And when you deploy your code to app catalog, you can just uh, select your uh, solution and by clicking on uh, sync to teams, it just easily uh, fail, it easily add your uh, application to the teams. And when you open teams, you can go to uh, apps. And if you click on build for your tenants, it just show you this uh, web part. And by clicking and clicking that you can uh, add it to your personal tabs, or you can add it to a, a to a existing uh, Microsoft uh, existing team uh, as a tab. And as you can see, it's uh, just the same UI you can use here. And here is it. You can just post a praise from also Microsoft Teams. Uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it. Thank Excellent. you. Thank you, Ramin. Thank you. Uh, it's a nice, really clean uh, implementation and looks looks polished. You have even the, the nice looking logos on the team side uh, for the manifest and all of that. So really nice job. Um, and, and well, some people like Yammer, some people use Yammer, some people don't, but the, those organizations which use it widely uh, for communi community uh, purposes, and this is really, really useful, definitely, uh, for, for them to take advantage as well. So thank you, Ramin, for that one. Mm -hmm.